Hey Matt, lettuce seat is on. Lettuce eat, she's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch Lettuce Eat. We're going to make a really easy few ingredient Greek chicken dish in the Dutch oven today. I picked up most of my ingredients at my local Hannaford. The spices, however, I pick up at our local Dollar Tree because they're so much less expensive than the supermarkets and I needed time for this recipe. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt to the chicken for flavoring. I use sea salt. First thing you're going to want to do is get your chicken cut up. I have half the chicken in a bag to freeze for another meal. And this is the chicken we're going to be using for the dish. I also have this marinade. It's a new recipe, Greek. It's a dressing. And we're going to put some into the bag and let it sit for a few minutes while we prep the Dutch oven. Also, you're going to want to get your stove preheated to 425 degrees. And the, the Dutch oven is versatile and very useful. You can use it on the stove top as well as in your oven. First thing we're going to do is going to cook the chicken for 10 minutes on medium heat on the stove top. And then we're going to put it right into to the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes until it's cooked all the way through. And always use your thermometer to make sure your chicken's done properly or cut down the middle and the thickest part. And if it's white all the way through, then it's done. We're going to get the, the marinade into the chicken. But first, we're going to prep the Dutch oven. I picked up my Dutch oven about three years ago, maybe four now at Walmart. We do a lot of Walmart shopping. It held up very well, as you can see. The inside is excellent. The worst stains come out. There's all kinds of easy hacks to get anything that's stubborn out of there. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to the Dutch oven, about a teaspoon. And I'm going to drizzle up a couple of teaspoons of oil. If you don't have extra virgin, this oil will work just as fine. I hope everybody had a fantastic summer. It flew by, and I'm so glad school started once again. Now we're going to get the bottle open, and I'm going to come right back. I'm going to add. I'm just going to shake it about and dump it right into the Dutch oven. I have the windows open because it's very warm this September. We've been in very hot and humid weather. I think it was feels like 99 yesterday. It was awful, and today's going to be no different. I'm going to drizzle in. Eyeball it in. So I'm going to add some in onto it before it goes into the oven for 20 minutes. And you're just going to push it all out. And I'll add the salt onto the chicken once it's in the Dutch oven. a couple times around about a teaspoon and the time you're going to garnish with so a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper Now this is going to go onto the stove top for about 10 minutes. You're going to flip it after 5. And then after another 5, put it into the oven for 20 minutes. The fire department sounded a little while ago. Something's going on in the village here. Usually not that much excitement where I live. We don't ever see cops hardly. It's a very quiet village. Kids play outside all the time. Very good school district. We've been here for 13 years and we love it. You can hear the sirens in the background. It's a fire truck, so I'm not sure what happened. It might be a brush fire. Now you're going to let this sit for about five minutes. And then we're going to flip it for another five. I love these microwave steamable bags. They're awesome. And they work really well. This will go into the microwave for about six minutes and then put it into a bowl probably about 10 minutes before you're ready to take the chicken out of the oven 
in a, once we're done cooking the chicken on the stove top, I'll add a little bit of thyme and then I'll garnish it with a little more, just a few teaspoons. And this is going to go into the microwave about 10 minutes before it comes out of the oven as a compliment to the chicken. You can serve whatever side you prefer. Listen to that sizzle. It's almost time to flip it. First off, just a little bit of time. Now the recipe originally called for thighs and drumsticks. I do like drumsticks, but mainly on the grill, like barbecued. Thighs I love in the oven, roasted. So I got these breasts, they're boneless, skinless, for a really good buy at our local Hannaford. And there was a lot in the package, because I was able to split it up for a couple of different meals. If you were going to have a salad, you can shred this Greek chicken up for a nice salad. This is going to sit for a few more minutes, and then it's going to go right into the oven. Listen to that baby bubble. Now I'm going to put it right into the oven, in the Dutch oven. That's why I love this. It is very versatile. It's already preheated. I'm turn the stove top off. I'm going to get my lid and put the lid on there as well and lower the rack. My microwave is right over the stove here. I'm going to time it to 25 minutes. We already gave it a head start searing it in the Dutch oven. If you have a skillet that's useful for the oven as well as the stove top, you can use that if you don't have a Dutch oven. Just make sure it's oven safe to handle. I'm going to get the Dutch oven out of the oven. I'm going to show you what it looks like first before we take it out and put them onto the plate. The green beans are just about done. Always be careful around a hot stove in handling things. That is what the chicken looks like. And do not worry about the Dutch oven. It'll come clean. It does every single time. Let's get a close-up. Into the Dutch oven, you're going to cut the chicken down the center, the thickest part. And it is done. That is perfect. It was inside the oven at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. And then 5 minutes each side. on the stove top on medium heat. I'm going to retrieve the green beans from the microwave and they're going to be hot. All the chicken is done perfectly all the way through. And it smells incredible. I'm going to show a final view of the plate here. I'm going to take out some chicken. And it smells incredible. about six minutes for the green beans in the microwave if they're steamables the Hannaford brand I gotta relearn my camera angles it's been a while we do have a grocery haul that's up and running a healthy Walmart haul I've been eating a lot of organics and gluten-free foods it's how I lost a lot of weight I'm down to 162 from 185 originally I was 250 I got down to 200 and then to 185 this past May that is what the dish looks like I'm going to dive in and have that. It smells incredible. I will post a picture in our community with the directions on how to make this dish, as well as the Facebook group. If you are not a member of the Facebook group, Let's Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family, go on over and answer a few questions, and you'll be added in to the group. Spread the word, and make sure you subscribe, and have a fantastic day. And stay cool, everybody.